Hey everybody, today we are going to be talking about ebooks, specifically Sage ebooks in this video. So, ebooks are a great place, or books in general are a great place to start your research. They're great for those big picture topics you're looking for. So often, people are looking for big picture kind of generalities of a subject and they jump right, in, right into peer reviewed articles and you're just not going to find that in there. So our discovery system will search ebooks, but I would say if I'm going to look specifically for ebooks, I'm going to go right to this link that says ebook databases. So once we're in here, we there's another video I just made recently on EBSCO ebooks. That's the biggest one we have, but another very large ebook database we have is Sage ebooks. So let's click in here and take a look at this. Now Sage ebooks is a great database. There's a lot of terrific content in it, but as you can see, it's slow. The one problem with Sage eBooks is that it's slow. So you saw when I clicked on that link, it took a few seconds for it to open up. It will be slower than what you're used to. Okay, so one thing you could just search for eBooks here, or one thing I really like about it, they make it very easy to browse, browse their books. So let's say you're looking for something with counseling and psychotherapy. I would click here. And there's there's thousands of ebooks in here and you have full access to all these books. These aren't just it's not like a regular library catalog where you look it up and then it tells you where to find it on the shelf. The full books are in this catalog. So we could just browse through here. And any one of these that you want to open up, you could just click on the book title and then there's the book right there. Here's the contents. I really like how easy they make it to browse. And you can just browse the different chapters. Any of these chapters that you want to open up, just click on it. Opening up to chapter five. Notice how it's not the fastest database in the world, but there's chapter five right there. So one thing with Sage eBooks is that it's really slow if you use the back button <laughs> for whatever reason. So I would use their internal button here to go back to the table of contents. If you click here, it, it will go back a lot quicker. If the back button tends to confuse this database, I know that's strange. I find it strange too, but it's, it's a pretty good database. It's just kind of slow and the back button will kind of mess it up. So be, be aware of that. Um, there is a citation tool in it, like in EBSCO databases. If you click cite, there's an APA citation there. You can copy and paste this somewhere. Be prepared to edit it. There's always some editing you'll have to do with these, but this looks like a pretty good pretty good uh, citation here. Okay, and then if you wanted to get a link for this book, click right there, copy it to clipboard, there's a link. Uh, one thing I do like about the Sage eBooks, it's pretty easy to save as favorites. With EBSCO, you always have to get a permalink. With these, this link will work if you save this as a favorite. So save that as a favorite somewhere and it should come right back up for you. Okay, let's go back to the opening of this database and I again I like to use their little buttons to navigate within the database because the back button tends to confuse it. Okay let's say I'm looking for something specific. I'll just type in cognitive psychology do a search here. Again you can see not the fastest database in the world and there's all these great books on cognitive psychology. And it really is a, a great database. Again, you have full access to all these books. I'll just open up this book right here. And then I can look through the table of contents. We'll go to perception. And you could also get a permalink. You can get a link just for this chapter too. That'll open up directly to that chapter. Or you could save this favorite somewhere and it would open up to that chapter. And then there's the site button that will come up for with something for that chapter. And it's a, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good citation maker. Okay. That's, that's basically how you use Sage books. It's really easy to use. You have full access to all these books and uh, it can be a great resource uh, for, for your research, especially if you're looking at kind of big picture topics on, on the topic that you're researching. Okay. It's, it's a pretty easy database to use. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.